Hello and welcome back to Mega Reacts. Today we're going to be reacting to Person of Interest, Season 1, Episode 10. So not much to go over with the last few episodes. We did learn a little more about the female detective. Terrible with names, so I cannot remember her name right now. We also got to see more awesome Batman action by the Count of Monte Cristo. Always, always a great thing to see. Also, Mr. Finch is becoming one of my all-time favorite characters. He is just awesome. He's, he's, he's smart, he's capable, he's as capable a spy as the Count. I mean, really. Not physically, but the ability to lie and get in places and do things, he's fantastic. So I'm excited to see where the Count and Mr. Finch go, so come on this journey with me. But before you do, please like, comment, share, subscribe, Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega, let's get into it. Any sign of the kid? No. Mm. Oh. I did sense my privacy being invaded, but we'll leave that for now. We have work to do. Numbers have come in. What do you mean, numbers? What plurals usually mean? More than one, in this case, four. Claire Ryan, 42, lecturer at NYU. Mm. Matt Duggan, 33, a waiter. Wendy McNally, 29, a hairstylist, and Paula Vasquez, 23, unemployed. Excuse me. He's good. Just need some black glasses. You can be CSI. What does this accident have to do with it? Claire Ryan. Assuming it's the people who were in those cars are going to be the victims. Looks like she gave me some money. Blu-ray player, new tablet, shoes. Expensive shoes. Jimmy Choo, Manolo Blahnik. All bought this morning. What else do we know about our Vic? <laughs> I ask you a question, Fusco. What? She hustling? Yeah. Oh, you got made. Someone left the stroller. What are you talking about? There's a baby stroller near the car. I don't know where. Um. Oh, there she is. Oh my god, it's a bomb. She's about to set it off. Down on the ground, bitch. I have to warn him. Oh. <laughs> Son. Harold. Like some cartel people after him or drug related? I got bored. Thought I'd lend you a hand with your case. <laughs> they are on you hard, girl. I think they're gonna offer you a position or something. I don't know. What a pleasure. I murdered victim. Oh, they right. gotta see the talent he there. The Congressman Allen's son, Jamie, died two nights ago in a car crash. Well, these were found in your son's car. Did he set up this charity? Yes, he did. How I like to think of him. Just good deeds. You left the Oh, don't tell me there. You weren't going home. Got a fake charity for Haiti and you're robbing it. That's hardcore, because Haiti's a pretty rough place and needs some help. Right, they're both there. She's got her gun. She's not your shooter. I'm not telling you anything until we know who you are and why you're following us. Stand away from the door. Just bad timing. I mean, it could just be a guy that needs to use a phone. Nope. It's an assassin. <laughs> and yep, they're out. Want to get in some more trouble, Carter? You know someone who could we'll talk to the listen to the call. And see if he knows anything. Be a pleasure. 
Me and Philo. I'm just worried about you, detective. Don't. Just back off, okay? You and your preppy friend over there. Why don't we go somewhere quiet where we can talk? <laughs> your <CIA>. preppy friend. <laughs> Kara Stanton, his CIA handler, they were a team. Inseparable, saved each other's lives a dozen times, and then... He killed her. Then disappeared. We thought he was dead. Gave him his star on the wall at Langley. Then three months ago, you ran his prints. <sighs> brought him back from the dead. We want to bring him back in before he kills anyone else. He, he had to have had a reason to kill her. We want to help him. Oh, that's... That the guy? Yep. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. It's written down this. My plume to know. Rather than known to be. Indeed, Mr. Payne. I'm Did he make up fake merch for this cover ID? Davis Bannerman. Fantastic if he did. Before you ask me how I am, I'm not well. You again? Have you lost your car? I'm waiting for someone. Okay. Night then. Don't trust her. Wendy, call her! Drop! Don't call her! <laughs> I knew he was looking at that fight. I thought you were nuts. Ooh. Leg shot. No. Not to actually drop that guy. For saving my life. You're welcome. He just called. Oh no. Tell him. Warn him. You got the cameras? Warn him. Oh no. This is not good. It's like he knows. They don't want to kill him though. They're trying to just wound him. Hope you hope you know you made the wrong choice. Because you did. Mr. Finch. Come on, come on, get him in. Get him in. Yeah. Now, now your wife's up. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back with you. Hey now, so, wow, that was a great episode. Especially at the end. I cannot believe the Count got shot twice. Still survived. The man is an unstoppable machine and I love him. The story was good too. The people that found money being hunted down. Corrupt politicians and corporations and charities. Which is very real. So that's always fun to see. When they kind of take a poke at the kind of real corruption in the world. But... But man, that end was was so intense, and I didn't expect them to get shot, and they got shot, and they got shot again, and I, I was like, oh, what are we gonna do? But he made it out. He made it out. Cannot believe the detective sold him out. Uh, she tried to make good at the end, so hopefully, 
it can um, help their relationship, but I don't know. I don't know. Cannot wait to get into the next episode because I'm just going to hop right into it right now, to be honest. So come on this journey with me. But before you do, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega signing off.